Millions of dollars are being poured into the state's single issue August election. The sole issue on the ballot would make it more difficult to amend the state's constitution if it passes. The question has stirred up passionate campaigns on each side. NBC4 Seattle reporter Natalie Fahmy joins us now in studio to talk about this. Uh, it's following the money, right? Mm -hmm. We know most, both sides have a lot of money. Where is the money coming from? That's right. Both sides do have millions of dollars. But first, I want to note that both sides of the campaign have warned against special interest groups and have and the out of the influence out of state of out of state funding. But in the first finance report of this election, we're already seeing millions of dollars coming in from out of state groups and people. One person, one vote is the group urging a no vote on August 8th. So far, they've raised nearly $15 million, more than 12 million of that from out of state, with most of that coming from California and D.C. On the other side, there are three funds contributing to the Vote Yes campaign. In total, they've raised nearly $20 million. At least $17 million are from out-of-state contributors, much of it coming from Illinois and Virginia. I talked to Matt Dole, who's an advisor to the Protect Our Constitution Political Action Committee. He says the outside money coming in on each side is different because of the effect of the result. The result is if the yes side wins, outside influence is weakened. If the no side wins, the outside influence is strengthened. I did reach out to the one person, one vote campaign. They declined my request for an interview and say they're sticking by a statement they released yesterday. That says we are proud of the enormous bipartisan coalition that has come together to defeat issue one. And they say the stakes couldn't be higher. And we are working every day to communicate with voters about how issue one would end majority rule. Now, there are a lot of dollar figures in these reports. We have a deeper breakdown on NBC4i.com. There you'll also be able to see the full report for yourself. Jared. All right, Natalie, thank you.